Hi everyone, it's Anne from the Kids Department at Herrick District Library. In this video today, I am going to show you how to um, search our catalog um, and how to place holds on items. Our catalog is basically an online listing of all of the things that you can borrow from the library, whether it's actual physical items or uh, downloadable, e like ebooks and that kind of thing. And then um, placing holds basically means that there's something that you're looking for and we don't have a copy available right now. And placing a hold will put you on the wait list and make sure that you're notified when it is your turn to check out whatever it is that you are placing on hold. So like often, we're starting on our main website here, herrickdl.org. And we can search a bunch of different things on our website. But right now, what we're really going for is we want to look for the catalog. So I am curious to see if there's anything at the library by Raina Telgemeier that I haven't read already. She's the one who wrote Sisters and Smile and Drama, etc. So click search. <clears throat> and okay, so we can see here, we've got a bunch of different titles. And a bunch of different formats, too. You want to pay attention to these little icons. This one means it's an actual book, an actual physical book. Um, this one that looks a little bit like a tablet means that it's an ebook. Um, and I'll show you, I'm sure, at some point where there, you can see what, a, what an audiobook or an e-audiobook would look like, too. So it looks like, because I'm searching right now, just Herrick District Library and the main library and the North Branch. We're just searching Herrick's locations right now. I'm going to take a look at this with guts here and look at the details. And it looks like, okay, it looks like there are two copies of guts at the main library by by the by downtown on River River Avenue. And it looks like there is a copy at the North Branch that can be checked out. So if I wanted to go into the library, I would be able to then check one of these out, as long as nobody got to it before me, of course. So that, okay, we got one there. Let's see what else we've got. Smile. Okay, so this book, again, we've got guts here. But if I know that I'm not going to be going to the library anytime soon, or if I just really want to read it right now, it says that this ebook is available and I could check it out right now and then download it to my computer or to my tablet or whatever. I'm going to do a different video on how to check out e-materials, um, e-resources, but um, just know that that is an option as well. So, okay, we've searched, searched there. What else do I want to look for? I think I'll look for, there's an, one of my favorite series. Princess in Black has a new book um, about a giant. So I'm just doing a keyword search because I feel like I can put in a whole bunch of random words that I think are probably going to get the result that I want. And it doesn't have to be exact. That's why I like keyword searches a lot. So Princess in Black, giant. Let's see what that's got to tell me. Okay, cool. It looks like Herrick owns The Princess in Black and the Giant Problem as a book and as an ebook. But all copies are in use, which means that all of the copies, both the regular book and the ebook, are all checked out right now. So this would be a place or a time that you might want to place a hold, which would put you on the wait list, and then you'd be notified when the book was ready for you. Right now, it looks like there are seven holds on four copies for this book. So I can go ahead and place a hold. It's going to ask me to log into my Biblio Commons account, which is um, you can use either your barcode or your username. And then your PIN number should be the last four digits of your phone number. OK, 
And there we go. See a little green check mark there? It says hold requested on the princess in black the, and the giant problem. Cool. That said, now that I'm looking more closely, it looks like I'd be number eight on the wait list for the actual book. But it looks like I might be able to get the ebook sooner because I would be number four on the list for that. So I'm actually going to request this. You can request a hold on a digital item just as easily as on a physical item. So this one is telling me that I'll, it'll email me when it, when my book is ready, and then I'll be able to download it or use um, an app to read it. So I'm going to place that hold. And another thing that I want to show you is, okay, all of the copies of this are checked out, but if you click on While You Wait, it's going to pull up some other books that might be sort of similar to what it is that you're looking for. So if you know you're going to the library and you know you've got a hold and it probably isn't going to come for a little while because most holds usually take at least a week to get in, um, you can maybe try a different one of these books. So this is just giving you some ideas of things that are available on the shelf right now, physical books that are available on the shelf at the library right now, things that you might also enjoy. Okay, so next, my friend recommended a book called Lightning Catcher to me. Okay. So ebook, ebook. There's one actual book. Boy, but this is a long book. I prefer to read long books as actual books. So it looks like I could download it as an ebook. This is the first one in the series, The Lightning Catcher. But it looks like Herrick doesn't have that as an actual book. So don't think you're stuck yet, because what we, we are part of something called a cooperative, which is a whole bunch of different libraries in our area that share books with each other. So right now, as I pointed out before, we're searching just Herrick District Library and our North Branch, our main library and our North Branch. If you see that there's something coming that you don't find that Herrick owns, you can go here to search other resources and click into the Lakeland catalog. That's going to pull open another tab in your browser. And it's going to search all of the libraries that we share books with. Because we can have books brought from other, other libraries that we share books with to Herrick for you to pick up. And you just pick them up at Herrick and then return them at Herrick and we send them back to the library they came from. So here is the first book in the series, Lightning Catcher, and here it's a book book, not an ebook. I'm going to take a look at the details, and there are a couple of different libraries that have that book. Looks like Laudit Library and Ravenna Branch at Muskegon have it. So what I would do then if I wanted to put that on hold is the exact same thing. Place hold, and it's not going to ask me to log in again because I just logged in. It holds on to that information for a few minutes so you don't have to log in every single time. And now my hold is requested for the lightning catcher. Cool. So I'm going to take, I'm actually going to go over to my account here and look at my dashboard just to take a look at all of the holds I've placed. So over here we go to on hold. Princess in Black and the Giant Problem, Lightning Catcher. Those are both physical books, and this one is an ebook. And it's telling me they're not ready yet. This is telling me I'm number seven on the list for that book. And I think I was number eight on the list for this book, so I might I might just read it as an ebook. It's a shorter book. So I think what I might do is cancel this hold on the actual book because I think I might get the ebook sooner. And I really want to read this book. So I'm just going to click cancel hold. And it asks me if you if I definitely want to do it, and I will say yes. 
and oh well i guess it hasn't processed yet sometimes that happens we'll give it a few more minutes um but that that's all you would do to cancel your hold is click that that cancel hold button and now I want to I want to go back right now I'm looking at Lakeland Library Cooperative again which again is going to search a ton of different libraries so I'm going to close this tab and just go back to the Herrick District Library tab and I want to search something else I'm curious because a friend of mine told me that Princess in Black is available in Spanish and in English so I'm curious about that Oh, well, and it popped up right, right away. Spanish. One thing that I would like to show you, though, is if you know for sure, you can filter, you can filter your search results. So if you know for sure that you are looking just for an ebook, you can click this box here next to ebook. And that's going to take out all of the things that aren't ebooks from the list. So you don't have as many things to search through. If you know for sure, that you want a book book, not an ebook, you could do the same thing and click the book. Here we've got audiobook options if you would prefer to listen to the book. Although these the pictures in Princess and Black books are amazing. So I, I highly recommend them. And I per also want to show you there are tons of different ways you can you can filter your searches here. You can search um, by audience if you want to make sure that you're looking at just kids books you can search by language so if you know that you're looking for books in Spanish you can do that and it'll then you click the Spanish and it will show you looks like there's only one available in Spanish right now but that helps narrow things down too these filters are great if you're searching for a bunch of different stuff and that my friends let's pop back real quick to see if I can Go to the dashboard and cancel that hold that I don't need anymore. Please lightning catcher, Princess in Black and the Giant problem. And that was the book that I wanted to cancel, not the ebook. Oh, well, I guess not yet. Anyway, it sometimes takes a few minutes for these things to process through the system. But that is what you would do if you wanted to cancel that hold. So that, my friends, is the basics on searching our catalog and placing holds. And look for other videos on how to check out electronic books and e-audiobooks and that kind of thing. I'll see you next time.